Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I will explain a new concept that is uh, highest power of prime number in n factorial. Next concept is highest power of prime number, highest power of prime number in n factorial. In n factorial. This is the next concept. Listen carefully. Here, to solve the problems related to this kind of uh, model, first of all, uh, you must be checked out two points. First one is this one. This is a very, very important point. Here, this number must be a prime number. Whatever the number here given, highest power of uh, Every number, whatever the number he has given, suppose for example, uh, something number called 10 is given. If 10 is given, you need to, if you observe carefully, this 10 is not a prime number. But here the concept is we need to calculate the highest power of the prime number in n factorial. Here this n is any natural number, right? We don't, uh, we don't have any problem with this. Uh, n. This is a natural number. n is nothing but a natural number. Any natural number. But whereas coming to this prime number, this number must be a prime number. If we give prime number directly, we don't have any problem. But in case, if it doesn't give any kind of prime number like this, uh, you need to convert that particular number into prime factors. Like 10 is equal to, you can write this 10 as 2 into 5. And suppose, for example, 8 is given. 8 is not a prime number. You need to write down this number as 2 cube. Right? So, whatever the number he mentioned, that particular number must be a prime number. If it is not a prime number, then you need to convert that particular number into prime factors. First of all, I will tell you with a small example how to calculate highest power. Highest power of 2 in 10 factorial. I am taking a small example in order to explain in detail. Okay. Here we are able to, we are asked to calculate highest power of 2 in what? 10 factorial, right? As we all know that factorial means what? n factorial is nothing but it is a continuous product of n natural numbers. Similarly, 10 factorial is equal to 10 factorial is equal to 1 into 2 into I will write all the numbers. Why? Because uh, how to get that particular value that is very important up to 10. You need to write up to 10. Okay. 10 factorial means it is a continuous product of uh, 10 natural numbers. Uh, 20 factorial means continuous product of 20 natural numbers. Now, here the question is, uh, what is the highest power you can write uh, in 10 factorial? When you, are mul when you are taking 10 factorial, here, if you take the product of all these numbers, uh, you will get something value. In that something value, what might be the highest value of 2? What might be the highest value of 2? That is the thing we need to calculate. Here, what we have to do is, uh, we need to write each and every value in these 10 numbers. So whatever the possible value, you need to write down in terms of 2, if it is possible. Check whether 1 is not possible to write in terms of 2. 2 is nothing but 2 only, right? 3. 3 is not possible to write in terms of uh, 2 factors. Now, next, 4. 4 is possible. 4 I can write it as 2 square. 4 I can write it as 2 square. 5 is not possible. Why it is a prime number, right? And next, 6. 6 is possible. I can write 6 as 2 into 3. 2 into 3. And next, uh, 7. 7 is not possible. That is a prime number. 8. I can write 8 as 2 cube. I can write 8 as 2 cube. 9. 9 is not uh, 
9 is not a multiple of 2, so we cannot write 9 in terms of 2. And at last, 10. 10 we can write in terms as 2, that is 2 into 5. Now, you can count the number of 2s. Number of 2s, that is 1 plus 2, 3. 3 plus 1, 4. 4 plus 3, 7. 7 plus 1, 8. It means 10 factorial is equal to 2 power 8, 2 power 8 into what are the remaining numbers left over? Here we are left over with 3. 3 into and next 5. And next in this 6, 2 already counted and next 3 is left over. So, 3. And next 7. And next 8 is already completed. 9. And next in 10, 2 is completed. 5 is not completed, right? So, you can write 5. Now, we don't want all these numbers. We don't want all these numbers. For all these numbers, it is not possible to write in terms of uh, 2. So, strike off all these numbers. Now, the highest power of 2 in 10 factorial. The answer is 8. The answer is 8. In this way, we can calculate highest power of 2 in 10 factorial. Guys, now you have a question that uh, here as 10 factorial is a small number. So, directly we have written all the numbers and we have counted uh, powers of 2 easily. What if, suppose for example, the question is uh, what is the highest power of 2 in 50 factorial? Highest power of 2 in 50 factorial. Then, in order to avoid, we, uh, every time we are not able to write all the numbers in continuously, right? So, in order to avoid this difficulty, we are having a separate shortcut method to solve these kind of problems, right? I will explain that shortcut, okay? For the time being, I will take here only 10 factorial. Why? Because uh, I just want to verify by doing the shortcut method whether I am getting the highest power of 2 in 10 factorial is 8 or not. I will check it out that value. Here, manually, I have counted highest power of 2 in 10 factorial is 8. Now, I will check it out with the shortcut method also. This is a shortcut method which I am uh, applying for each and every problem which are related to highest power of prime number in n factorial. Here, whenever highest power of uh, prime number, highest power of uh, prime number in n factorial, which is uh, asked to find, then our required answer is uh, sum of all the quotients, sum of all the quotients, sum of all quotients, divided by power of prime number divided by power of uh, prime number okay this is the way of uh, doing the calculation highest power of prime number in n factorial here we are taking prime number 2 and this number is 10 factorial and this number is uh, 10 factorial now how to get all these uh, sum of quotients and power of prime number. Here the prime number is 2 and its power value is 1. And its power value is 1. It means uh, denominator is 1. There is no problem with the denominator. Denominator is very simple. Now, how to get uh, this all the quotients, uh, sum of all the quotients? It is very simple. First, whatever the natural number which is given here, Divide the natural number with 2 successively. Divide that natural number 10. 10 is a factorial, factorial value which is given in the problem. So, divide that factorial value with uh, whatever the prime number which is there. With that prime number you need to divide. Irrespective of the remainder. Leave the remainder every time. Here it is 5 times. Again divide with 2. 2 times. Even though the remainder is 1, leave the remainder. 
and next again divide with 2 one time. Now once the division process is done, here all these values are quotient values. All these values. 5, 2, 1. All these are quotient values. Now our required answer is highest power of 2 in 10 factorial which is equal to sum of all the quotients. What are the quotients we got? 5 plus 2 plus 1. Except this number which is given in the problem, you need to add all the numbers, all the quotients which we got by dividing with that particular prime number. 5 plus 2 plus 1 which is equal to 8. 8 by 1 that is equal to 8. Now if you observe carefully, we got the same result as that of uh, the answer which we got uh, previously when we are calculating the value in manual manner and uh, if you see this case uh, here we calculated the answer by using the shortcut method here only thing you must remember is uh, here highest power of prime number in uh, n factorial is equal to sum of all the quotients divided by power of prime number and one more point you must uh, keep it in mind is uh, whatever the prime number whatever the number here given that particular number must be a prime number first of all you need to verify that that particular number is prime number or not if it is not a prime number convert that number into prime factors i will explain uh, uh, some more problems in the next sessions okay okay guys uh, i hope you enjoyed the session thank you thanks for watching